Hey there, YouTubers. It's Don from True Cable coming back at you again. And today we're going to talk about something kind of interesting. It's basic network cable troubleshooting. Where did I go wrong? Um, if you have plugged together Ethernet switches uh, into, into uh, Ethernet cable, uh, if you've attempted to get you know, your cable modem working, your switches working, and your cable plugged in, at some point or another, uh, you've probably run into a problem. And sometimes you don't have an advanced test instrument like a Fluke DSX-8000 in order to run down exactly what it is that's wrong. So you have to take a very structured approach to figuring out um, exactly where things went wrong and how to run them down as best as possible and then actually go about correcting them. And there's a very defined sequence of steps that uh, will help you get from point A to point B that'll reduce your stress level quite a bit. So stick around. And if you want to know how to troubleshoot a simple network, I'll be right back. Okay, so you've got your little home network here. Uh, you're ready to rock and roll and get your streaming going, watch uh, some Netflix, but things aren't working the way you want them to. Okay, so we have a really simple setup here. Um, we're going to assume that this is an all-in-one cable modem router combination and it's where your internet connection comes in and it transmits a Wi-Fi signal and it's got switch ports on the back, but you've also added like a small extra switch to get more expandability on your network. And uh, it also functions as your uh, router. It assigns IP addresses to everywhere on the network. So if things are going wrong, where do you start? Well, start at the basics uh, because believe it or not, even someone that's been doing it a very long time, like myself, has done some really, really boneheaded things uh, when it comes to just setting up a network. I did all the advanced stuff really well, but then as soon as I did something simple, I took it for granted and I messed it up. So start from the basics. Number one, is everything powered on? Well, uh, let's see. In this case, I'm looking at a cable modem and I see blinking lights and a power light, so that's powered on. And let's see, in the next case here, I've got a switch here, none of the lights are on. Uh-oh, yikes, better get that powered up. So let's plug that in. So that's one possible mistake right there. Make sure your stuff is actually plugged in and powered on. I I've actually done that once, yes, believe it or not. Okay, so now that the switch is actually running, and it is, it's got power. You got some lights blinking there. Uh, the next thing is make sure that your cables all connect all your devices up and in the right way. I noticed on our, on our uh, all-in-one cable modem Wi-Fi router that it's got a power cord, it's got the coaxial cable cord, and that coaxial cable cord is plugged in. Uh, there's a switch back here, though, uh, so you can plug in other devices like your small switch here, but my little small switch isn't plugged in. See, no cable in the back of this thing. So what I need to do is plug this guy into that, and now your switch can communicate with your all-in-one cable modem. Now that that's been established, one other mistake you can easily make is, and this is especially true when it comes to like big spaghetti messes you might have behind your desk, it's possible that you think you've plugged in two different cables into your switch, like this. But what you really did was you plugged in the same cable to the same switch twice. And that's what's called a switch loop. And that will potentially stop your switch from working and cause you a lot of mayhem. So my recommendation is, is if you're having, uh, if your network is being set up for the first time, and you're having a lot of trouble figuring out what's going on, unplug all of your patch cords from your switches and things, and then just plug them in and trace your lines back to where they're going and make sure that you're not accidentally double connecting, everything's plugged in and it makes a snap when, it's, when it actually latches in there. So in this case, we can just plug it into one port, not two. Now it's correct. If you created your own patch cords, that could be the source of your issues. Um, quite frankly, 
if you purchased solid copper Ethernet cable um, and you put on your own RJ45s, instead of buying a pre-made patch cable like this, uh, it's possible that you accidentally cross the wires. You might have put one wire in the wrong spot, uh, or you may have uh, done one end at T5, T568A, and then you did the other end at T568B, you just created yourself a crossover cable. Now some switches can deal with that. They have what's known as auto MDI MDX, and they can accommodate for a crossover cable. But not all switches can do that, and not all devices can do that. So all of your cables need to either be A to A or B to B, but don't go mixing things up. Um, but if you buy pre-terminated patch cords from the store, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, just buy straight through regular patch cords, not crossovers. And crossovers, you're gonna have a hard time finding them these days anyway. They're not used very much anymore. So if you do, did create your own patch cable though, and you put your terminals onto the end of solid copper cable, then what I recommend you do is you pick up a wire map tester, which is one of these guys, and you plug one end into a remote, and then you plug the other end into the main, and it'll tell you if you got your wiring wrong. In other words, the wire's in the wrong spot. And this one tests as pass, okay? But what did it pass? Well, it passed that all the wires are in the right sequence, that it's a straight through cable. Um, if any wires had been crossed over or mixed up or in the wrong spot, that would have shown up on this little tester. What this little tester will not show you, though, is if the cable will actually perform at any particular speed. Uh, if the connection is a poor connection, um, it'll still probably pass on this, but it will not necessarily be a working cable. So just be aware of that, that if you have a cable that passes on this little tester, but consistently gives you trouble, you might want to try a different patch cord. Uh, because patch cords can and do go bad. Uh, they can get handled too much, they can get stepped on, or they can be bad out of the bag. I've had that happen too. So uh, the, the process of uh, troubleshooting network cable is really not that advanced. And it's not so much a network cable problem as it could be like you simply hook stuff up wrong type problem. So trace everything back to what you're doing. It's just go back to the basics. Is everything on? Is everything connected? Is everything connected in the right way to the right port? Um, if you're using factory pre-made patch cables like these, they're already pre-terminated, they're probably gonna work just fine. You can usually not count on one of these guys as being a problem unless it's got obvious physical damage. Uh, if you've made your own patch cords, which I don't recommend you do, uh, but if you did do that, then a wire map tester, and if the patch cord still gives you a lot of grief, even if it passes on this guy, then you might want to replace that patch cord with a factory pre-made patch cord. So um, those are the most common ways of troubleshooting a very, very small network like this. And this is like a, this could technically be a very small home network right here. No more than two devices. Heck, in, in some cases, huh, I have to tell you, in some cases, a lot of home networks these days, because your, your, your internet service provider give you a, a monthly package, and then they give you an all-in-one device you rent every month, that may be all that you've got. Right here, just this. Um, if you want to add expandability, like a switch, then you can do that. But um, so this does represent a small network. And hopefully you found this useful. And give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, depending on uh, whether you like the video or not. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let us know. Have you made any uh, mistakes that were just totally like, oh my god, I can't, I can't believe I did that, uh, even though you're very experienced? Um, so let us know what, what, what uh, uh, pitfalls have you fallen into, so to speak. We'd love to hear it. Um, you know, we, we can all have a good laugh. It's all after the fact, right? So um, subscribe to our channel. Uh, take a trip over to our website, uh, truecable.com. Visit our Cable Academy. We have lots of videos and blogs in there. And with that, I'm going to say you have a great day and happy networking.